hearing a lot about herd immunity this week. That's because during a town hall with ABC News, President Trump advocated for the virus to go away through a strategy called herd immunity. It's going to go away a lot faster. Would it go away without the vaccine? Sure, over a period of time. Sure, with time, it goes and many away. deaths, and you'll develop you'll develop herd like a herd mentality. It's going to be it's going to be herd developed, and that's going to happen. That will all happen. So what is herd immunity? According to the Mayo Clinic, herd immunity happens when enough people become immune to a disease to make it spread unlikely. To look into the president's claim about herd immunity working with coronavirus, we talked to local infectious disease expert Dr. Rosanna Rosa. She says COVID-19 is unique. With a virus that is as transmissible as um, as this one, as COVID-19, for us to truly achieve herd immunity, that would mean about 70% of the population has immunity to the virus. So when you start doing the math of how many infections you are willing to tolerate and how many people you are willing to, to tolerate dying because they will die, uh, it's, 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 it's not a reasonable strategy. In fact, estimates range from 2 million to 5 million deaths in the U.S. alone if we tried to achieve herd immunity. Dr. Rosa says herd immunity is achieved faster with a vaccine, and that is something the president does acknowledge. So we start working on campaigns to get everyone to get vaccinated, to get to that good level of people being immune through vaccination. Scientists and experts across the board agree no country or even community should just go for herd immunity. So we can verify no, herd immunity should not be achieved by natural means to wipe out coronavirus and get us back to normal. If you want to check out a claim a politician makes or something you see on social media, just give us a call or send a message to our team.